it's me, Sorrel. <laughs> Joking! You guys know that I teach the advanced selfie how to get the absolute best photographs of yourself. But people still come to me and they say, hey, Sorrel, we've got an issue. I do not like photos of myself. I prefer seeing myself in the mirror. <laughs> I think a lot of people can relate. <laughs> not myself personally. I actually think I photograph better than uh, I look in the mirror. Wham, bam, sham, cram, sam, damn. <laughs> But that's funny. <laughs> and it probably also gives you hope that if I look like this and I can photograph like that, uh, you can probably photograph pretty fucking well. Excuse the French. <laughs> but I decided to study up on reasons why people might still hate themselves in photograph. Here are the reasons that I found. It's freaking fascinating. Besides the usual stuff that I usually teach, which is how to master posing, if you don't know how to dress properly for your body shape, if you don't know which colors work best for your skin tone, if you haven't found the best face and body angles, the lighting is incorrect, wrong positioning of the camera, and what camera is being used, all of these factors obviously matter. I also talk about them in my advanced selfie university course, which you can sign up for to find out all of these things and how to master taking your own photograph like a pro. But then we get into like these psychological reasons as to why you might hate your photographs. And I find this freaking fascinating. The human mind to me is oh, so interesting. Firstly, the mirror is actually a flipped reflection of you. Let me just let that sink in for a second. What you're looking at in the mirror is not the reality. You're actually looking at something completely reversed. So whenever someone takes a photograph of you, it is the actual you, but you're so not used to seeing that, it completely stuffs with you and you might not like what you see. It is basically because you haven't been exposed to that. This then leads me on to the mirror effect. And the idea behind this theory is that if you are exposed to something a lot, it is gonna mean that you're gonna react more favorably to this. So basically, if you don't see yourself very often in photographs, you don't really know what you look like. So naturally you're gonna be quite shocked. And that's the same idea if someone, for example, takes a side photo of you. You don't know what that looks like because you're not exposed to the side of your face very often. And that can be a real big shock. The other benefit of seeing yourself in the mirror is that you have immediate control of what you look like. If you don't like something, you can just tweak your face slightly to the preferred angle. You don't have that ability in photographs. Once a photo is taken, <laughs> it's frozen in time. No! No, God, please, no, 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 no! And then sometimes we just don't like that. This point to me, I kind of just concluded recently and I've had it sort of in my mind, but I've started researching a little bit more about filters such as Insta Story, Snapchat, and how that is actually affecting the way that we see ourselves today. And it's kind of leading on from the mirror effect. If you are constantly using filters and you, like most of us, rewatch these stories over and over once they have gone live, you are starting to get used to a filtered version of yourself. This is why I think filters are so damaging to the individual. So even though it might look better on the internet, 10%, 20% better, or if you look like a dog, I don't know how that's meant to make you look better. For your own peace of mind, I recommend do not use filters because you're getting used to something that isn't true. And then looking in the mirror is gonna be a cause for disappointment. I was just researching this, I have to put this in. I just found out that the iPhone or hopefully the Android is the exact same thing. When you take a photograph on the front facing iPhone camera, <laughs> tongue twister, that is the actual version of yourself. But when you go to Insta stories or Snapchat, they flip your freaking face. They're genius because they knew that, that you'd prefer that. So they did it that way. But look at these two comparison photos. I did not move. I just changed apps. It flips your face. So you are not really ever looking at yourself properly. So if you also wanna start getting used to yourself, what you actually look like, put your front facing camera on and start getting used to what you see because that is the real you. Make sure the lighting's nice though and your hair and makeup if you do makeup. Don't do one of these ones. Oh damn! <laughs> I've got one more point which is gonna blow your mind. Until I get there, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Plenty more videos this month about photography because February 2019 is all about a photography month and I'm gonna be bringing you ideas on how you can love yourself more and photo photographs and so forth, so make sure you do subscribe. <laughs> the final point is pretty funny. So research has been done and most people actually believe that they are more attractive in real life than what they actually are. This has nothing to do with the idea that when we see our bodies, we actually think that we're a lot larger and our bodies are much uglier. So that is a completely different thing. This was done by presenting people with 11 different images of themselves and they had been varied slightly to a degree to make them either a little bit more attractive or a little bit less attractive. And most people chose a slightly more attractive version of yourself. 
ourselves. It does kind of conflict with the idea that most of us are really, really, really hard on ourselves and we don't actually like ourselves, but somewhere in there, there is a skewed version. And maybe this is kind of an opportunity to take it to the streets. Do you think that could actually be true with so much press about how much we dislike ourselves? I mean, I've been teaching people to love themselves for the last 10 years. Holy crap, that's a long time. <laughs> Furthermore, do you prefer to see yourself in mirrors or in pictures? Do let me know down below. And anything else that you found shocking from this video, I'd like to have a discussion down below. I look forward to chatting with you guys in the comments. Here is my Instagram and Twitter if you would like to see more. That is it. Advanced Selfie University in the link if you would like to find more. And until next time, guys, peace.